Hey guys, it's Allie from the blog Hand Gathered Home, where I blog about DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. Today I have a fun project for you guys. Um, if you are on Instagram, you've probably noticed the hype around the gleaming primrose anthropology mirror. It's kind of a gold antiqued look. And I have a, an antique mirror that I found a few months back. I bought it for $12. So let's jump right into it. First, I taped off the mirror to protect the glass. I uh, placed my embellishments on the mirror just to make sure that it looked right and kind of figure out where I was gonna put them. And then I start painting the mirror. I will say though, I would sand your mirror first if you use the paint I recommended. I loved the color of the paint, however, the sheen I think messed with the paint a little bit and so you'll notice that it's not covering overly well. It took about four coats of just kind of a light coat. It could have been the brush too with the foam brush but I'm really happy with the way it turned out but it did take a little more um, a few more coats than I thought it would. So I went ahead and painted the embellishments and I just um, made sure to get them as covered as I could. I did go back with a Q-tip later to fill in the gaps because there were little creases that I couldn't get into. So I went ahead and just used this gold, metallic gold acrylic paint on the embellishments and then I went back for another coat on the mirror. This is the second coat on the mirror. And you'll notice I started to add the embellishments, so the one on the top is in place. I'm going to use wood glue to secure it. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure the side pieces as well. I will say a tip here on this part is make sure that you put them high enough up that the mirror can still stand. So here goes coat number three. And you can tell it's covering a lot better. Uh, it's definitely getting that more warm gold look. My mirror before was black underneath and I actually really liked the way that kind of showed through. It just gave it a little aged look. But at the end I did go over with a wax which I linked below and overall I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So everything that you need in order to recreate this is linked down below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell while you're at it so that you get notified every time I post a new video. You can expect new videos from me Tuesdays and Fridays every week along the lines of DIY, simple living, and making a house into a home on a budget. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys next week.